Here you go, the new mugshot of David Turpin. It did take me some time to post this. I know it's been a few months since it was released, but I wanted to find out what happened and why this is making news again. Well, basically what happened is the story of the Turpin case continues to be relived and retold by family members involved in the case. And because that happens, that information gets publicized and resurfaced. That information then goes back to the prisoners and they retaliate against the high profile person that is with them. So the thing that's different here in this case is that David is a former employer of the United States government. So he holds highly classified information. He's no chump. He was an engineer for Boeing, which was involved in a lot of scrutiny lately. I mean, Boeing was just in front of Congress this week. So they are definitely in the news and they do not want any of their information leaked to the general population. And when you are, when your life is on hold, when your life is at danger, you're not able to keep secrets. So they don't want that happening to one of their own. So they will protect those that they need to, that need to be protected. And that one is David Turpin. I mean, he's no chump. He's a high ranking engineer for the government and he designed this stuff. If anyone knows about Boeing, it's him. So with all that's happening in the news lately, it just makes sense that this is bound to happen. And so, yeah, he was replaced. He does have protection now, and he is happy about that. So that's what's happening. And I predict that much more will happen because he holds that level of information. In fact, I am sure that he is being interviewed daily about what's going on with Boeing because they are under a great deal of scrutiny lately, and he does hold a high level of classification for the company, for the United States government. So he definitely is protected in the prison system. And there you have it, folks. Thanks.